ask somebody if they want some chips and fresh guacamole and they're bound to reply with an enthusiastic yes. But ask them if they'd like some chips and two-day-old guacamole and they'll probably stand up to leave. What? I am done! I don't deserve this! I really do not deserve this! This is because, as any fan of guac will tell you, it doesn't keep well, and it's always best enjoyed fresh. Assuming you're one of those folks who has the willpower to not consume an entire bowl of guacamole in a single sitting, you probably know what happens when you try to store it in the fridge. After just a couple of hours, that once vibrant and green guacamole is now a putrid grayish brown. And you, you have fear. You have fear of the browning of the guacamole. But there's actually a way to keep your guacamole fresh, and it's likely not how you've been storing it all these years. You can't beat the enemy if you don't know the enemy's weakness, and to properly store guacamole, you must know what the enemy is. Oxygen. Guacamole and avocados in general don't hold up well once exposed to oxygen. According to Compound Interest, this exposure results in a rapid browning of the fruit's melanin pigments. The same thing happens to other fruits like bananas, and despite what you may have heard, leaving the pit in the avocado or guac has zero effect on slowing down the browning process. Now that everyone understands that oxygen is the enemy of the avocado, let's see how you can better protect those sensitive compounds and enzymes in your guac. It's a crime against food to let a bowl of guacamole go to waste by tossing it in the trash. But it's also understandable that brown guacamole is less than appetizing. So what's a guacamole lover to do? Fear not, because there is a solution and it doesn't involve lime juice, plastic wrap, or ancient Aztec spells. According to The Kitchen, the easiest solution is simply adding a little bit of H2O. You can use this trick either with the bowl that you've been eating your guacamole out of or by transferring it to a plastic container. Simply pour a small amount of water on the surface of the guacamole, around a half inch or so. Make sure it's covered up tightly and your guacamole should stay fresh. And most importantly, green, in the refrigerator for two or three days. Adding water to your guacamole might seem like a gross idea, but have faith. You're going to want to try this out next time you have some leftovers. Notice that no one's telling you you're supposed to mix in the water, only pour it on top. This is because the guacamole itself is so thick that the water won't seep down into it. You'll want to make sure to press out any air bubbles and pack it into the bowl before adding the water. The water will act as a barrier that prevents the oxygen from getting into the guacamole and browning its melanin pigments. After you've poured the water on, just put an airtight lid on it and then place it in the fridge. When you're ready to bust it out for Taco Tuesday or another round of tortilla chips, just pour out the water that's resting on the guacamole surface and stir it up a little before serving. This is some pit-ass guac you whipped up, man. While we're on the subject of preventing guacamole browning and keeping it as green and fresh as possible, it does raise an interesting question. Aside from why a person would want to eat brown guacamole, is it even safe to do so? According to Business Insider, it is. The browning of the guacamole is simply the avocado's compounds reacting to air exposure, and this can happen in just a few hours. It takes significantly longer for the guacamole to actually spoil. The texture may be a little different, but who knows, maybe you'll dig it. If it really bugs you, then you can simply scrape off the layer of brown guacamole, and you should find the guacamole at the bottom of the bowl relatively green. Then again, you could just use the amazing water food hack you just learned and avoid that brown guacamole altogether. Hey, I never asked you. Yeah. Do you like guacamole? Ah! Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.